Hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. My name is Pamela. If you just jumped on my channel, title or something got your attention, I welcome you. I thank you for stopping by and I hope as you watch this that uh, it draws you close to the Lord and that you find that quiet place in a closet or in a room. You find somewhere quiet and you spend time with the Lord and that you just dig into the Word and just draw, you know, draw extremely close to Him. So I'm coming on here because I had a dream last night and I was just sitting here writing it down because I've had a lot of dreams lately and I've had a lot of the same people in my dreams and to me I know how the Lord's been using me and no. he will put people in my dreams so that I pray for them. Let's try and get, I'm going to try to get through this with my kids being up because I'm just so excited about it. But last night before I went to bed, I was just praying like, I don't really go to God and ask him about rapture. But last night, I'm just like, Lord, please, I just want to know if it's in the month of May. This is the highest watch time yet. I really just, give me confirmations in a way that you know that I will know, whether a dream or a vision or something, so that I will know if it's in the month of May. And I'm not saying that this dream is telling me that it's in the month of May. There's just a lot of end time things in it. And you'll understand what I mean. And as I'm writing it out, because I didn't realize it, I didn't catch all this until I'm writing it down and interpretation started coming. So I'm holding, I'm holding Brielle. Hopefully I can uh, get this. Yes, I get this. Okay, I don't have to flip pages. Okay, so today is May 5th, okay? In my dream, I was at my aunt's house. And I don't really visit my aunt. But my aunt was, my aunt lives in Pontiac here in Michigan, but she, for some reason in my dream she lived in another state, like Florida or something, and I was visiting her, don't know how I got there, but I was visiting her, and I was getting her to call to change my plane ticket to go home on Friday, okay? Um, it was a Monday in my dream. And I wanted to go home on Friday. And then that just made me look at the calendar. And I was like, Friday, Friday, this Friday, or next Friday, 7th or 14th? I don't know. But Friday. So that was a big deal. Then she came back after she called and made the changes and said, I got that set for you. It cost $5 I'm like, to change the ticket. I'm like, $5? Okay. $5. And I'm like, it is May. Five represents May. At first I was thinking five represents grace. But okay, five represents May. There's a Friday, May. Friday, five, five dollars. So possibly could be May on a Friday. I don't know. You know. But okay, so let's just keep going. And let me just keep telling you all this end time stuff or all this. Okay. Um, so after that, scene changed, but I was now in Bay City, which I lived in Bay City for 16 years. I met my husband, uh, while I was living in Bay City and, um, we got married a few weeks later actually. And then I moved down here where I'm at now. And so, um, but I was there visiting and I still the same, even though I wasn't at my aunt's no more, I was still planning to go home on a Friday. While I was there, I was at a house full of people, or a house, I was at a house and it was filled with people that I knew, but then people didn't really pay much attention to me. But there was one guy who I was married to while I was there. And it was weird because I was like thinking, I'm already married, but I'm married while I was there. And his name was Chris. Chris means Christ. So I'm like, okay, so I'm getting all this interpretation. I'm getting all this interpretation while I'm writing this down. And so... Chris hangs out with me while I'm there, and apparently I'm married to him. There was no, he just wanted to take care of me. There was no, like, anything worldly about it, anything like that. There was no sexual content or anything like that. I just knew we were married while I was there, and he was taking care of me. And so I decided to go walking. I took a walk down the main street in Bay City. It has a bunch of shops and a bunch of different things down there. And I went walking and then Paige was there. Paige is my 17, soon to be 18 year old daughter. 
and she was walking down there with me. In my dream, she was a young girl, but I knew that she really wasn't a young girl. I'll tell you why in a second. I lost her while we were walking. She like went off and I was kind of scared because I'm thinking, why in the world was she went off? But I got to the house that I had been staying at and I said that I had lost Paige and they said, don't worry, she'll come back. So as I'm writing that down and as I remember that, to me, I totally felt like it was spiritual. Like, don't worry, she's off. But she'll come back, which is something I've been praying for my children. If they don't, if they don't follow Jesus now, hopefully after this first rapture, after the escape, it'll get their attention and they will. And so I was like, okay. Well, I was in this house and somebody got my attention and the TV was on and it was like the news or something. And there was this shop owner and it was like there was a phone ringing and I looked in my phone because I had realized while I was there, I left, I dropped my phone somewhere and I knew it was like, it couldn't have been far because I had only walked down the one strip. And so I was like trying to pay attention to find out what shop this was because I wasn't familiar with what it was. And I said, I'm not going to worry about it. I know that I'll find that shop once I go walking. So I got outside and started walking down that same strip again. And all of a sudden, I started flying. I started flying as though, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's always spiritual. If I am able to fly in my dream, that's how I know that it's spiritual. So that was another reason why I really wanted to write this down. I can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Um, I was able to fly. And... Um, I was flying pretty high. I wasn't flying like up in the sky. It wasn't really about that because I was just trying to get that to that strip as fast as I can to get my phone. But I was able to fly. I was flying as high as it seemed like I was flying higher than what the power lines look like out here at my house. Um, but I was flying pretty high. But I noticed I kept having to duck under um, electrical wire, you know, the, the electrical poles and stuff like that. Um, but people were looking at me like an awe, like, look, she's flying. Like it wasn't normal. And so I knew by being able to fly that that was a spiritual dream. So I had to come and log that, but the Lord, it was totally the Lord having me write this dream down because I figure I haven't wrote my dreams down in a while because they didn't seem to really have much of a effect. Like Thinking about it, like I've had two dreams about Cracker Barrel and the, there's just this girl named Je, um, Jen that's in it and back to back and I've had five or six dreams with her in it just this year alone. So I'm like, okay, yep, I know I need to pray for Jen. She's a pagan. She doesn't, I don't know if she doesn't believe in God, but she definitely doesn't worship him. She's a pagan. So I'm like, okay, maybe God's doing a work in her life and um, I just need to pray for her. So I've been doing that. Then this guy named Chris has came up twice in my dream, and this is the second time, but something when I was writing it down, the Lord just gave me interpretation for this dream as I was writing it down. So I know, because I had asked him before I went to bed, but I didn't put too much into it at first because I've asked him a lot of times for some kind of rapture dream or some kind of dream letting me know and he never has given me one and so I just came to the conclusion maybe I'm not getting a dream but this all I think all the meaning I think there's a lot of end time meaning in it I think it had a lot to do with I asked him if we were going to be uh that's one of the things I that was one of the last things I asked him please if we're going to be raptured in May give me some kind of sign confirm it in my spirit in a way that I'll know or give me a dream or a vision because I've been having and I I realized this last night when I was like brushing my teeth going to bed because I was you know talking with God even though my husband was like laying in bed and I was in our bathroom and I still was like talking to him kind of like whispering or whatever because you know I don't know so but I was just talking with him and I get visions I got a, a quick little vision of um, 
being wrapped, sh- kind of like being raptured up, but it was just like what my body, I can't even really explain it, but it was like around that, around rapture time, like I'll just get sneak quick little peeks about what is going to happen. And I've been getting them for a while, but I mostly don't like, I don't focus per se on like what the rapture is going to be like. I did maybe in the beginning, like back in September when he woke me up, but I really just mainly focus on like, I can't wait to see who's up there with us. I can't wait to see all the beautiful colors and the flowers and the animals. And I can't wait for the feast. I can't wait to just be in the presence of the Lord. I just, I can't wait about everything for heaven. Like, I'm so excited. Like, this is what I daydream about. I daydream about going home because I don't care about any of this, any of this, this world. I don't care about any of it. I continually pray for whoever the Lord puts into my heart. I've laid people down at his feet and I've had to walk away and give it to him. And he knows and he's in control of people's hearts and he knows who's going to come to him and who is going to reject him. So I kind of just work on the leading of the Holy Spirit. So I hope that you guys do that too. Don't over pray for people. The Lord knows. And I know there's scripture about the Lord was wore out or the, it wasn't the Lord about, you know, the lady who wore the, uh, I should know the story. I've read through the Bible so many times. I'm back on Matthew now, <laughs> but, uh, where the lady was bugging uh, the judge or something like so many times. And finally he like wore, she wore him out and was like behind. Um, but the Lord, you can't stress yourself out praying for somebody. If you're stressing yourself out praying for somebody, God does not want that, okay? You need to trust and believe. If you've got, like, look what the Lord's did for me. I'll have several dreams with the same person in it. This is the Lord keeping me, like, you need to pray for this person. You need to pray for this person. Okay, Lord, I'm going to pray for this person. But if you're stressing yourself out praying for somebody because you're so worried that they're not going to get their salvation, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't know that there's another rapture at the end of seal six before seal seven. They don't know that. So they think there's one and only rapture and they're so worried that their loved one is going to be left behind that they're like stressing out. And if you're new, there's a book and I... I I definitely recommend that you read it. I definitely recommend it brings the it brings the Bible to life and everything in there is all scriptural. It's called The End Times Revealed and it is um you can type it in. You can get it on Amazon. It just it's new. It just came out. Um it costs 8.95 for paperback. Um, a lot of times on Amazon, you can get, um, actually I got it. I did download it on Kindle and I got that for free because I had, if you like choose a different day to where it's not like one day shipping, you can go a couple extra days without something. They'll give you a credit, which it can go towards like downloads and stuff like that on Amazon. And so I got the Kindle download for free. You can do that or you can go on uh, ministry ministryrevealed.com ministryrevealed.com and you can actually download the book for free on your phone or tablet or whatever computer and if you don't want to just download the book if you want to download an audio you can download the audio for free and then it can read to you it's like I downloaded that too. I've downloaded everything because I wanted to have, I actually wanted it to be able to read to me. That way I can like listen to it when I'm cleaning the house. And so it does kind of sound robotic and it does put even the colons and stuff like that in it. It actually reads everything, periods, dots, colons, whatever. So, <laughs> but you can actually listen to it. So um, I do recommend that it brings the book to life, but it actually shows you proof that there is two raptures in there. There is an escape, which is the pre-tribulation escape where the bride will escape all things. And then there is a rapture, which is in uh, mid seals. It's actually after the sixth seal, right before the seventh. If you go in and read Revelation 6, you'll after the sixth seal, you'll come to 
uh, where it talks about the 144,000 that are marked. And then after that, it'll talk about tribulation saints. And after it talks about the tribulation saints, then it'll go through and talk about, it'll talk about the um, seventh seal that's being opened. So that's how you know that there is a, a rapture after that. There's just so many different things as well. Um, but I do recommend that book. So anyways, this is my dream. I'm going to go ahead and go. I have kids that are awake, as you've seen in the first portion. I had to actually stop recording because my son came in and told me that he poo-pooed. So I had to go change a diaper. But God bless you all. If you guys have anything to add in my dream that you picked up in there that maybe I didn't, feel free to comment down below. And I am open to interpretation. I don't normally get interpretation to my own dream, but I feel like maybe the Lord did it because it was a question. Like I asked him, like, please, I really want to know because I have been looking at every watch day. I have been digging in, in the Bible. I have just been seeking him out by everything, but not necessarily asking him, okay, Lord, is this going to be the time? Because I just, I sit in prayer, I get in his presence and... I don't ever want my flesh, I don't ever want to ask a question where my flesh could be, and the Lord knows me, like I don't want to ask a question where my flesh could ever make me feel like I'm hearing a yes or a no or whatever, so I stay away from questions like that and ask the Lord to just uh, confirm things other ways, so I really feel that this is an end time dream, so... I'll continue going over this, and if the Lord has reveals anything else about this dream, I'll come on and make another video. But until then, if I don't see you in, uh, you know, another video, then we're going home soon. So rejoice in that and be glad, and I will see you soon some way or another. Bye.